Today, state and local leaders gathered in the shadow of East Providence High School to break ground on a brand new school building. These renderings show what the new high school will look like. It's set to open in 2021, replacing the structure that sat on Pawtucket Avenue since the 1950s. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was at today's ceremony and has the details about the new school. East Providence voters said yes to a new high school last fall. The same time voters statewide approved a massive school construction bond. East Providence will be the first community to put that money to use. Over here, here we go. A celebration in East Providence Wednesday. Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony for the new East Providence High School. The new school is set to open in 2021. The more than 300,000 square foot four story facility will be able to hold 1,600 students, boasting 45 classrooms, 10 science labs, and two greenhouses. The new school will offer students and staff academic and enrichment spaces in which to innovate experiment and thrive. The project is set to cost no more than $189.5 million and is taking advantage of the $250 million school construction bond that voters approved statewide last fall. But your town was the very first to take advantage of it. So you ought, when I talk about townie pride, you ought to give yourselves a pat on the back. Others will follow you. This is the flagship project of the statewide school construction effort. This is going to be the largest school construction project in state history. This is going to be the best, most modern high school facility the state of Rhode Island has ever seen. At Wednesday's ceremony, students past, present, and future ready to usher in a new age of learning. Today is that day that we start the new chapter in Townie Pride. And the first class to graduate from the current East Providence High School building did so back in the 1950s. At today's groundbreaking ceremony, there was a group of sixth graders in the audience. They will represent the first class to graduate from the new high school, the class of 2025. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.